so after data transmission now let us discuss about telemetry so let us see how telemetry can be defined so telemetry is defined as a technology which allows the users to collect the information from inaccessible and inconvenient locations and to transmit it to the accessible places to process record and display the information in presentable form for example here suppose if we take an example of uh, the temperature measurement system in a process industry suppose if uh, we want to monitor uh, the temperature of a boiler so by major direct measurement of temperature inside a boiler is inconvenient and it can be considered as inaccessible location so by using a sensor detector sensor transducer combination in a boiler so the temperature can be measured and that temperature which is measured can be transmitted that quantity can be transmitted over a long distance or other places where the data that is temperature can be uh, displayed or can be recorded uh, easily in presentable form so this entire process is called as telemetry here so in simple words we can say telemetry as a process of transmission of data over a long distance suppose if the data as we discussed in the previous part if the data is to be transmitted over a short distance so different data transmission methods which we have discussed previously those methods can be used suppose if the data is to be transmitted over a long distance from inaccessible or inconvenient locations to the accessible places then the process is called as telemetry and telemetering devices can be used here so now let us see the general telemetering system so this is the block diagram of a general telemetry system so this block diagram has three stages input stage intermediate stage and output stage this input stage consists of two blocks measurement and primary detector so the measurement that means the quantity to be measured is detected by a primary detector which is nothing but a sensor transducer combination and the signal or the major end is converted to electrical signal and it is sent to the channel transmitter now the intermediate stage consists of three blocks here telemeter transmitter telemeter channel and telemeter receiver the telemeter transmitter converts the output of primary detector into an electrical signal and transmits it to the telemetering channel so this signal is received by a telemeter receiver placed at the remote location this receiver converts the signal into a usable form or indicable form and it, it is indicated or recorded or displayed by the end device so here for telemetry some basic instruments are required for translating the major end into a suitable electrical signal and processing and transmission of signal over the channel and then receiving the signal and converting it into a readily uh, readable form so this is about the block diagram of a general telemetry system now let us see the types of telemetry systems so telemetry systems are classified into different types based on different parameters first one according to the link between the telemetry transmitter and the telemetry receiver the telemetry system is classified into two types landline telemetry system and radio frequency telemetry system again the landline telemetry system is classified into three types voltage telemetering system 
current telemetering system and position or ratio telemetering system. This radio frequency telemetry system is classified into again two types frequency telemetering system and pulse telemetering system. So here the landline telemetry system comes under a category of a system with direct physical link. So there exists a direct link between transmitter and the receiver. So the physical this physical link between transmitter and receiver is nothing but a telemetry channel. This link can, can be a cable used for telephonic or telegraphy or a power carrier line. So this system is most suitable for short distance telemetry system. Now in radio frequency telemetry system there is no physical link between the telemetry transmitter and telemetry receiver. The link between the transmitting end and the receiving end is established through a radio link. So let us see the second type of uh, classification of telemetry system. So according to the form in which the information is transmitted, the telemetry system is classified into two types here, analog telemetry system and digital telemetry system. So in case of analog telemetry system, the information is transmitted in the form of uh, analog signals like current, voltage, position and frequency. And in digital telemetry system, the information is transmitted in the form of pulses, which are digital signals. So now landline telemetry system is the basic type of telemetry system, which is used more commonly. So therefore, let us see its advantages and disadvantages of landline telemetry system. So let us see the advantages as mentioned here. It's very effective system for short distance transmission as there exists a direct uh, physical link between transmitter and receiver. Then second one, very simple circuit is required for the measurement setup. Third one, the information can be transmitted easily by the use of modern electronic circuitry available. And fourth one is a wide variety of detectors are available which produce electrical signal in relation with the variable being measured at the system's input stage. So there are also certain disadvantages of this landline telemetry system. Those are first one limited frequency response. Second one signal multiplexing is very difficult. Third one the distortion in the transmission links are directly incorporated in the main system. Then fourth one the information transmitted through the link is affected by EMI that is electromagnetic interference effects of main frequency from nearby cable. And the last disadvantage is the effects of thermoelectric EMFs are significant in case of telemetry systems transmitting DC signals.